Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain you about the complete detailed information about table. First, I will start with the how to insert a table. In order to insert a table, go to insert and here we can see that we have table box. Here we can directly enter the number of rows and columns. The horizontal one is number of columns and the vertical one is number of rows. Like that we can insert 10 cross 8 rows and column tables. I am going to select only 3 cross 3 as a table. This is one way of inserting the table. The another way of inserting the table is just go to insert table and click on draw table. With the help of draw table I can draw the table. I can insert the number of rows and number of columns as per our requirement. Now we have one more option that is to insert spreadsheet. Here we can see that we can also insert the Excel spreadsheet. Just click on it. The Excel sheet appears here. Once the Excel sheet inserted here, all the Excel options are going to enable on the top of this menu. Similarly, we can also choose the quick styles of or the quick tables. Here I can select the direct format for calendar and the table, double table, matrix, tabular list and subhead 1 and subhead. Just click on tabular list. Here I can see that the tabular list format is directly inserted. In this way, the quick styles are used. Dear viewers, once I draw the table or once I insert the table, then the design and layout is going to appear on this main menu. Let's see what are all the functions are there in design menu. In design menu, we have many functions. We will see one after another. Here I can see that I have different table styles. I can apply any table style to my table, to this table. Now, coming to the table style option. Here I have different options like header row, total row, banded row, first column, last column and banded column. Let's see what are all these functions. Just click in the table. Here I can see that this banded row, this head row enables or disables this header row. That means the first row is considered as header row. It just, it just highlights the header row. Similarly, the total row, usually the last row is taken as the total row. It highlights the last row. If I click the banded rows, that means we apply the bands to the all the rows. Here I can see that the one row has band, another is not one, another is also is banded or the colored. Similarly, if I click the first column, if I click the first column, here I can see that the first the color is applied to the only to the first column. Similarly, if I click last column, the, la the color is going to apply or the pattern or the style which I have chosen earlier is going to apply on last column. If I click on the banded column, then the columns are going to be banded. Here I can see that the columns are going to be banded or the colors are going to apply on the different columns. Now coming to the shadings. In table styles, we have shadings as well as border options. Here I can apply the different shading to my team. I can apply different colors. The choose the color whichever you want. Here I can also go for the more colors. Choose the color, here I can customize the colors. Just click on it, here I can see that the color is going to apply on the selected cell. This can also be applied to the selected row or selected column as well as to the complete table. Now the borders. Here I can choose the different border. I can select the bottom line, I can select the top or I can 
completely select the all borders. Let's see one. Let's see some example. If I click no border, that is going to disable the border. If I again, if I select this table and go to the all borders, again its border is going to appear. In this way, the different option can be used with the help of this border. If I click diagonal, let's see what will happen. All the diagonal lines is going to appear in each and every cell. In this way, the different border options are. In draw borders, I can draw the table. Before choosing drawing table, we must choose the style of the line. I can choose any style of the line. I can choose the single line or I can choose the double line or I can choose the thicker line. Let's choose one line here and I can also choose the pen color and click on the draw table and here I can draw the table draw the number of columns and the number of rows in this way I can draw the table I can also erase the table or the portion of the table with the help of eraser just click on the eraser and erase the portion whatever you want here I can see that in this way I can erase the the portion of the table. Now coming to the layout option. In layout option we have tables, row and columns, merge, cell size, alignment and data. I will explain you one option after another. Let's start with the table option. Here the first one is the select. Here I can select the cell, column, row as well as table. If I click on this select cell, it is going to select the particular cell or wherever you the cursor that is going to select on that cell. If I click on the column, it's going to select that column. Similarly, if I click here, just click on select cell, it's going to select that cell. If I click here, click on select column, it's going to select this particular column. Similarly, if I click on select row, it's going to select the entire row from where you have to click cursor. Similarly, it selects the entire table. This option is used. Now coming to the view grid lines. This grid line option enables or disables the grid line. For example, just select the table. Here I can see that right now the grid lines are enabled. If you click on it, the grid lines are going to disable. Now coming to the properties of the table. Here in the property of table, I can choose the property of table, row, column and cell. In the table, I can align my table to left side or center or right side. I can also choose the option of press wrapping. Let's, let's see one after another. If I choose left alignment, the table is going to align to the left side. Again, if I choose center alignment, that brings the table on the center. If I choose again the right alignment, that's going to shift my table or align my table on the right side of the page. Similarly, go to the property. Here I can select the width of my table or the size of my table. This is related to the text wrapping. Similarly, coming to the row one, here I can choose the or I can specify the height of the row. or I can specify the column width or the particular cell width as well as the alignment of the cell. Once you give your specification in this menu, just click on OK. I can also select the border shading of that particular cell. Click on OK. I can also choose that I have different option of my alignment of table. Here I can choose the different cell margins. Click on OK. Here I can see that the different options are applied to. Now coming to the row and columns. In the first, the delete option. In the delete option here, I have four options namely delete cell, delete column, delete row and delete table. If I click delete cell, that's going to select or that's going to delete the particular cell where you have put your cursor. Just click on delete cell. Click OK. That deletes the cell. Similarly, 
If I click delete column, that's going to delete the column. If I click delete row, that's going to delete the row. Again, I will put my cursor here. Click on delete row, that's going to delete the row. If I click, if I select the table, go to delete. If I click delete table, that's going to delete the entire table. Now the next one is to add the rows and columns. Here I can see that. This is used to add the rows above the selected row. Now I am going to select this row. If I click on it, it is going to add the rows above the selected row. Click once again, again it adds the one. For example, if I want to add two more, two rows or three rows, just select three rows and click on it. Here I can see that three more rows are going to appear on the selected rows. Similarly, if I want to add the rows, Below the selected one, just click on it. Here I can see that the rows are going to add. If I want to add the columns left to the selected column, just click on it. It's going to add the number of columns, as many as you want. If you want to add the column columns to the right side of the selected one, just click on it. That's going to add the number of columns to the selected column. And in the merge, I have three options that is merge cell, split cell, and split table. In order to merge the cell, select the cells and just click on the merge cell option. Once you select more than one cell, this option is going to be enabled. Here I can show you that if you select only one cell, this option is disabled. If you select more than one cell, this option is going to enable. Just click on it that that is going to merge the cell. Again, select the four, four cells, just click on it, that is merged. Similarly, I can split this cell accordingly. Go to split cell. Here I can mention the number of rows and number of columns. I'm going to mention number of rows. Number of rows as a two, number of columns as a two, just click on it. That creates the two rows and two columns. Now coming to the cell size option. In the cell size option, I have auto fit and I can adjust the height and width. I can also distribute the size of rows and columns. Let's see how to do it. In order to enable the option of auto fit, just click on the table. Here I have three options that is auto fit to contents, auto fit to windows, and auto fit to column. If I click auto fit to content, that means the table is going to fit according to my content. Just click on it. Here I can see that the table is fit on to my content. Similarly, select the table, go to auto fit to window that is going to adjust my entire table according to my window. Just click on it. That is going to adjust. Here I can see that the table width is adjusted according to window. Again, select the table, go to auto fit. Fixed column width that is going to assign the appropriate column width to the entire table. Just click on it. Here I can see that the column widths are equally distributed among the table. Now select the table. Here I can adjust the height of the row as well as width of that row. Just click on it. Here I can see that the particular row height I can change with the help of this option. Similarly, I can also change the width of that particular cell that means the column. Here I can see that this changes the width of the column, this changes the height of the row. Yes. And these are all the very important options in the cell size. Here I can see that let's change some width of rows. Here I can see that in my table, the rows has different row height. In order to make it in form, just select this entire table and click on distribute row. Once you click this option, then, then rows will become equal in size. Just click on it. Here I can see that all the rows are in equal size. Similarly, I can also change this width of the column, okay. just select it and click on distribute column. If you click this column, then the selected column 
are going to be in equal in size. Just take it. Here I can see that the entire table width is distributed in equal size of the column. Now coming to the alignment. Here I can align the text of my table. I can select the particular row or I can select the column or I can select the particular cell or I can select the entire table. I am going to select the entire table. Here I can see that I can adjust the alignment. This is the this is for the align top left, align top center, align top right. Similarly, this is for the center left, this is for the center, this is for the center right, and this is for the bottom left, bottom center, and bottom right. You can choose whatever you want. Now, sometimes we have the lengthier name, like assume that I have written like this one. I want to align this in a different direction. Just for that, just go to the text direction. Here I can change the direction of the text. You can see that, just select it. Here I can change the direction of the text. Sometimes I need to adjust the cell margin. In order to adjust the cell margin, go to cell margin option. Here I can assign the cell margin. I can give here the top margin. I can mention the bottom margin and I can also change the this left and right margin. Click on it. That is going to assign the margin to the particular cell. Now coming to the data option in the table. This option has sorting and assigning the repeat header row. Here I can convert from table to text. I can also insert some formulas. Let's start with the sort option. Here I have data of different numbers. I can sort this with the help of this option. Just click on it. Here the selected one is the column 3 and the selected one is the number. I can sort in ascending or descending. Select it accordingly and click. Here I can see that the numbers are sorted. Again select it. Go to A to Z option. Here I can see that my list has header row or no headers. If I click header row, here I can see the first row as a header. Here I can select subject or a mass. I am going to select the first column that is a name one and click. This is to select the text and click on. Here I can see that that is sorted accordingly in descending order. In this way, this option is used. Now coming to the repeat header option. In this table, Usually, the first row is considered as the row header. Whenever we insert the table in more than one page, sometimes we needed the first row to be repeated in the next page. This option can be enabled with the help of the repeat header. Just select the row and click on the repeat header. Now, I will enter this table in next page. Just press the tab key. Here I can see that this row is automatically repeated in the second page. That means I have set this first row as header row that is going to repeat whenever we extend the table to the next page or the more than one page. We can also convert this table to text format. Here I can see that I can directly convert this entire table to the text format. Just click on it. Here I can see that the entire table is converted to the text format. Like in Excel, here I can also apply some formulas. Just select a table, go to the layout, click on this formulas. In the formulas, I have different functions. I can calculate the sum, I can calculate the max, min, integer, if else, whatever you want. By default, it has taken the sum. And that is going to consider the data, the above the selected cell. Just click on it, here I can see that the sum is calculated. Similarly, if I want to make some changes, if I want to calculate the maximum one, again, select this cell, go to formula, 
here instead of sum just select the max and remove this sum since I am considering the data which is above my selected cells hence I am typing it as above and just select ok here I can see that here I can see that the maximum number is 98 in this column and that is going to appear on my this cell in this way this different table options are used 